The hits keep on coming. Stephanie's out. The Saudi rumors have died down. The Disney rumors have picked up. And does Comcast Steven still have a chance? The sale of WWE Part 2 with the DSK starts right now. Welcome back. Coming back as quick as uh, as comebacks do in these days. This is the TSK kicking it with the TSK episode four. Yes, this Discord discussions was a part of kicking it with the TSK. Welcome back, everybody, to sweet them out there one time. We appreciate y'all stopping by. Part two of the sale of WWE is happening right now, and you're listening ears and maybe right in front of your face. Uh, before, without further ado, I should say, let me introduce, reintroduce the TSK. If you don't recognize these pretty faces by now, and if you don't, that means you are not sharing and watching enough of this content. Of course, I am joined by my man, they call him Pretty Kyle, with the big old cans over his ears, rocking the Adam Cole shirt, be my man, Robert Davis. And then, of course, we have the OG Harold J. Hunter, and of course, the man you know from Max Wrestling, DC Daniel Crimmins. Boys, the topic came out, it hit the interwebs, it's on fire. We've literally gone around and around and around three different times with speculation on this whole thing. The number one thing I want to talk about is the impact on Stephanie McMahon leaving. We knew something bad was going to happen, or happening, I should say, once her resignation went in, and it was 100% out of the blue. I, I, think, I think that was actually what's what started the the forest fire, wasn't it? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, I, I think it's beyond the forest. I think at this point, it's a fucking wildfire. Well, yeah, it yeah. is now. Like uh, it's point. like volcanic eruption, like fucking Yellowstone. If the Yellowstone point. Caldera was the professional wrestling world, then that's a fucking super eruption. Yeah. Is there a biz- is there a bigger resignation in WWE right now? Not one yet, but I mean, no, how higher can you go? A couple months ago. Years, no. Who else could be bigger? I, you know, Papa H, H is the only Papa H, H is the only other name, but it, right? technically H he's below. Technically he's below, but the name value of its own will carry probably just as much weight. Yeah, right. So I mean, we again, as 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 Rob as Rob pointed out, it was an absolute fucking wildfire after the release. I guess the the uh, the resignation, I should say, of Stephanie McMahon. Now you can make the stupid argument she was making money with Face, she was making money outside the E. There was no real reason to be there anymore. But literally, and I do mean literally, within twelve hours, if not less than that, the immediate follow up of Saudi Arabia possibly purchasing this company and the links with J.P. Morgan on top of that has literally JP taken this whole Morgan. thing and spun it into a bunch of different ways. And with that, That's I'm immediately pretty. freaking out because we already know how Saudi Arabia is with women. That would immediately explain why Stephanie left in the or- in the way that she did leave. But what make way more, I guess, of an what made way more of an impact was hearing how many reports came out of how many people would literally walk away if that, that happened. Was my, that was my first thought process when I heard Stephanie was leaving was because the conversation with the Saudis was already there. I mean, it was kind of a more or less talked about it. Mill. It was like, yeah, there's a couple parties. Yeah. Yeah. There was just a couple parties. And then once Stephanie kind of stepped down, it was more like, Oh shit, this is real because the Saudis are never going to have that conversation. No, ever. If a female is in charge. And that's the fucked up part is there. It it was just never going to even happen. They wouldn't even walked in the room. You know what I mean? That was it was getting shut down, and that's where uh, Nick Khan was coming into play as the co-CEO, yeah. going, "He's going to have these conversations." But now, amongst our group, we were just like, "There's no, there's no way it's going to be Saudi." Like, I, I'm oh, yeah. pretty sure majority of us thought that was like the 
yeah, furthest Last, from the thing. Furthest from the thing, and then twelve hours later, we're all proven wrong. Boom. Yeah. Well, not only that, but Mo, like, it wasn't like that. Saudi might be buying it. It was that. Oh no, it was sold. Was it, was, it was done. Sold. It was done. Yep. It was as far as everybody else knew. It was like it was able, signed, signed, signed everything. Yeah, and that was like, gonna fuck up the whole wrestling world. The whole thing. And the thing was, it wasn't just one report. Like, everybody started reporting it, and everybody was just like, like, like wow, yo. Here's, here's, like, here's what probably happened. They probably were coming to terms of it, and that somehow got leaked out, and that crushed the deal. I, I mean, no, maybe. You know, it's possible. Now, if I may interject, and Rob and I were talking about this just before we all came on, what if it was leaked? And maybe it's me just being a conspiracy theorist. What if somebody leaked it intentionally, knowing to garner a reaction, knowing okay. what the reaction would be, and the purpose was to kill the deal? Said that was Stephanie. That's, Stephanie was the, one, I think, that was the one that leaked, hey. that leaked it because she had to leave. There he is. Yeah. 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 She goes, Fuck this. <laughs> Possible false yeah. accusation. Here's how I see it happening. Okay, she's on her way guess. out of the op- She's on her way out of the office, and you know she's got her all her shit all there. She sees her secretary and she says, Oh, hey, by the way, I need you to do something for me. Oh, yeah, on the way. Leak it to the sheets. Leak it to the sheets that the Saudi deal is done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Call everybody but Uncle Dave. And, th- and that's where she, and that's probably where she broke her in. Right. Trying to leave yeah. the office too quick. Hey, I mean, that's she what we, sprinting. we heard about. Yeah, I'm about to say, we heard about the ankle surgery. We wonder why you can't yes, be running sorry. in heels, girl. That's not the real deal. But oh, my Lord. Okay. I mean, I know we're talking about like the, I guess the, the, the impact of, I guess just because of how Stephanie would be running the company. But I mean, let's think about it for a second as far as, as uh, wrestlers go. Sami Zayn's never been over there and there's a reason for no. it. Yeah, so he can't. D- exactly. He can't go. So, can't. so what, so say this turns out, I mean, and yes, it's already being debunked and I'm going to continue to do air quotes until there is a final debunker or there's actually somebody else who really truly bought it. And yes, they did meet with Disney. We'll get into that in a bit. But until there is a concrete deal and it's signed into this and to this, Saudi is very much in play for me. And with oh, that, and with everybody that is. means mm-hmm. you are literally walking on eggshells now. You're literally walking on eggshells because even though uh, Papa H has uh, has said that there's nothing that's going to change creatively, and apparently they're even having a, a what's the a, a coaches only or a players only meeting with the coaches or whatever a staff meeting. Mm-hmm. Right prior to SmackDown, you don't I've have right the here. you don't have those meetings without something going down. No, exactly. Met, so basically, this was posted on WrestlingInc.com. What they're saying is, and I quote: "To quote the anonymous Raw general manager, and I quote: There we go. Fightful is reporting that Levac Triple H." had a talent meeting hours before the January 13 episode of SmackDown, which emanates from the rec center in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Report notes that Levesque told talent that McMahon is back to lead the charge and figure out who to sell the company to if a deal were to take place. It was also said that Levesque tried to pour cold water on the reports that a sale was already a done deal. It mentioned that he assured talent that nothing is going on with McMahon that will impact the creative direction of the main roster shows. He admitted that anything can change. But for now, he's still in charge of the company's creative direction. He thanked talent and understood why there would be concern backstage. Well, no fucking duh. Well, you got you know, your talent who is hearing about this from the fucking internet. Yeah. You know what, you know what else was said additionally was... That Triple H is discussing creative with Vince and getting ideas, which is fine. No, yeah. Triple H no, still not. has final say, but it still tells me that Vince still has that influence on creative. I don't think he ever lost Triple H. Triple H doesn't need his help. You no. know what I mean? So this right. is saying that Vince still is in there. And this is where I said last time mm-hmm. where Vince is going to go, oh, well, maybe try this, tweak this. Yep. You know, tr- twist right. this. Oh, try this, try this. And then it's just let me do it and I'll show you how it's done. And then boom, exactly. this is right back. Only a matter of time. <laughs> it's the Only little steps. Steps. I think if it hasn't happened already. Exactly. I think, exactly. Honestly, boys, I think, and we all discussed it in the Discord chat. You know, fucking Vince left the first time he said, 
He's not going to fully. And Kyle, I think you were actually the one that said it. Vince is not going to fully step away. No, I guarantee he's, no, he's probably not. been there the whole time saying, "Hey, you know, this doesn't really seem to be working. Try this." What this was man, the, what was the verbiage in his statement? Anything can change. Anything can change. Yeah, that's uh, that's not that's not reassuring, but. I mean, this yeah. man probably took a short week or two vacation and then goes business as usual. It's all right. behind the scenes, or I can't do it at the office. I have to call in or text Triple H or Stephanie. I'm about to say, or, like you, yeah, he doesn't have everybody's Con goddamn phone number. He's on, <laughs> he's on, on Skype and FaceTime and all this <laughs> shit. And he took away his card to the building, so he couldn't right. even get yeah. to the building if he wanted to. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's just it never, it never ended. It's just there was that. Uh, that Freaked meme it. of the uh, of the skit he did for uh, that, oh, that, yeah, like, Andrew, Andrew yeah, yeah, where there where he was kind of messing with people, but that, and they said this is Vince trying to sneak back into creative. Oh, a thousand percent was a thousand percent with the wig so, and the glasses on. So we're, I, yeah. I want to keep rolling with this whole thing, but uh, Harold, you've been the quietest out of them all. I want you to play superstar right now. I want you to act we, like you're one of the cats in the back. You just got done with this fucking meeting. I know you're big, you're shiny, you're handsome. You're you're a better version of Kevin Owens, baby. I'm putting you over right now. So here's, oh. the, but that's the gimmick. I like yeah, it. I, like I know that. you like that. Here's the gimmick, I though. Like that, I need you to 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 literally. F- have like sat there and seen not only Papa H, but you've seen you've seen Vince right next to him, and you've gotten this wordage like you've been like like you haven't been in a fucking locker room for eighteen years. How are you feel about this walking away? Give us Kevin Steen, not Kevin Owens. Atta boy. You know, this is the thing: is it it, it always going to come down to the mindset of the worker? You, you know, there's percent. guys in WWE who are on board complete with the, completely with the company. Mm-hmm. They will back anything that happens with Vince, whoever it is. And we all know who that is. Guys like uh, Rollins, guys yeah, like Owens. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. they're WWE guys. A thousand and percent. That kind of meeting to them, I don't think it means much more than it does to anybody else. But I think they're going to walk away the most positive just because that's, that's their mind state. Then you've got the detractors in WWE mm. who already have their mind made up about management, maybe mm-hmm. are, uh, have soured out. And this, I'm sure, doesn't reassure them. If anything, it's giving them more ammo to possibly start looking elsewhere, which I've, we've all heard the stories. Mm-hmm. They're looking elsewhere. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. what, what you just said, it kind of is giving me similar vibes to with the AEW situation is the Rollins, the Owens, the Reigns is similar to the Jericho, the Brian, the Mox right after the all out fallout mm, or fallout exactly. all out. Exactly. So when that whole the brain thing on turned upside down, WWE's now turning upside down and these guys are going, okay, we got to step it up. We're the WWE forever guys just like these guys are the AEW forever guys. We have to be the positive ones. We have to shine the light. Understanding that it's a little more, I honestly want to say it's more chaotic with WWE because there's people that physically wouldn't be able to work for WWE with mm-hmm. this potential new management. Uh, so I'd say it's a little bit more worse and stressful, but it's still in the same realm of, fuck, well, we got three locker room leaders that need to try and, to put these guys on the positive, positive side of the world. Which and is beyond tough. that, Beyond that, it's like, you know, this is something that is affecting, and it's not just talent, because let's be realistic. Mm-hmm. If the deal with Saudi were to go through, it, it they're going to drastically slim down WWE. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. so it's, you it's, got yeah, so much off. like that, you know, th- there's expenses, there's shit that Tony Khan and AEW don't have to worry about. Mm-hmm. That WWE does. Mm-hmm. Well, there's even those reports that came out today saying that possibly Fox is in debt with WWE or at least has overpaid for SmackDown. So, uh, hey, that's the consensus. I, I looked a little bit into that as well because my thought process looking at that, because they kept saying like they're oh. negative, like $146 million from like the third year. And I'm like, how the fuck are they going to resign? So apparently it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world because okay. these networks kind of understand that people are going off of TV, mm-hmm. off of cable, you know, not, not shows, but more or less the streaming. viewer like yes, us. they're going, yeah, streaming, they're going Netflix. They're cutting Google, the cord, baby. So 
the fact that WWE is getting, you know, at least SmackDown, the 2.1 to 2.4 ish million is still really good, but that yeah. is yeah. also just Fox. True. And that's the tough part because USA on Raw, they're doing between 1.3, you know, sometimes at a high mark, they'll hit about 1.8. 1. You know, we've seen, yeah, yeah, we're seeing, we've seen two a couple of times this year, but it's usually between 1.3 to 1.6. Yeah. Um, that might be a little more strugglesome, but that 2.1 to 2.4 on Fox is actually beneficial. It is. Uh, and what Fox is actually looking for. And the fact that they're number one on TV every single week, I think they're okay. Um, that is just, a big part. It is It is really tough to go, oh, shit, you're losing all this money. But yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm not in that in that world, but I've kind of seen on different sides of it with different people talking. And it's not all that bad, but it is still kind of, it's concerning. Nice. Cause you, it's you, very, yeah, you concerning. still want to be positive of some kind, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, and I don't know. I mean, I think part of it with that is like, look at the days of the week. Okay. You've got SmackDown being on a Friday, perfect mm-hmm. night for it. You're leading into the weekend. Mo- majority of people don't work on Saturday. So you don't have to worry. You can, you know, watch it, you know, be up till, you know, 10 o'clock or whatever at night cool whereas raw comes on 8 p.m eastern time doesn't get over until past 11 true Mm -hmm. now if what if you got to work at 8 a.m or earlier Mm -hmm. tuesday you may not watch it you may just say okay i'll just check the highlights on youtube yep and yes they maybe they're not getting the ratings but also you also have to look at Look at the plays that or the views that they get on YouTube clips. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, you watch it. Let's say Raw opens with the OC, you know, brawling with Judgment Day. Let's She's say good. it's about a five, six minute clip. Yeah. If that get, and I guarantee that's going to have ads beginning, middle, end. Absolutely. People are going to watch that shit. Yeah, she got you premium. How much ad revenue are you gonna get if that gets you know five, six, however many million views? So mm-hmm. no, yeah, see, he's not wrong because the problem with that though is that ad revenue is going to the E, not to the network. Mm-hmm. Big difference. There's a really big difference in that whole situation. It's the same thing when you post it on Facebook and Instagram and Facebook and Instagram does the same thing where they run ads and shit like that. That money's not going to the network. It's going to the E, which is fine. Oh, it's making money for W. Yeah, it's making money for WWE. But the networks are looking at it going, well, shit, they're making an additional million, two million, mm-hmm. whatever it is a month off of YouTube, off of uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the whatever social doing. media. Yeah, it, and it's not wrong, but the networks aren't benefiting it, and that's the no. problem. The networks are going, well, shit, you know, we're not going to give you all this extra money then because you're making it additionally from the five or six million, like DC saying, because they're posting that tag team match, and then they're going and posting the quick segment of who attacked <clears throat> Liv Morgan tonight. You know what I mean? It's it's all those different things. So I'm who's Uncle Howdy? Exactly. Who's Uncle Howdy? What happened with Bray? How did this happen? You know what I mean? All it's these Harold. different segments. It's Harold. Damn Harold. <laughs> Harold's Uncle Howdy. But yeah. I think that that might harm WWE down the road. And I think this upcoming Ooh. network renewal deal, and I think this is really why a big reason why Vince also came back, is there might be some trouble coming up with that of some kind. Well, and I think part of it, part of it is realistically this is probably gonna let's say it even let's say it doesn't sell you know things go on which is a big possibility oh no it's super possibility very big this is probably gonna be the last renewal that he's gonna do yeah because mm-hmm. right. vince is like i think he's like 78 79 78 if this, if this is like a three if, if this is like a four-year deal that puts him at 82 years old mm-hmm I mean, he, he ain't crying. I'll tell you that much. No. The other it's side different. of it is with the with the YouTube clips, USA Network will upload raw clip clips of raw. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Fox so, will even do it with SmackDown. Yeah, hundred percent. But and they're gonna get the so, ad revenue off that themselves. 
Whereas exactly. if WWE posts it, WWE gets the ad revenue. It's a little bit different. But both can it, work in terms of their own parties. What a lot of people don't realize, and to quote the the, the beginning of Lord of the Rings, the Nerd world has days. changed. Nerd it up, baby. The world has changed. I feel it in the air. I feel it in the oh. water. Oh, I love that. Mm. I love mm. that. The media presentation, how people consume content, is not what it was 10, 20 years ago. 10 years ago, that's not what it was was four years ago, if you really want to get crazy. Not even five years ago. Nowadays, Netflix, you've got shows like Stranger Things, you've got, you know, you've got Peacock, you've got, you know, almost every major fucking network has their own streaming app Mm -hmm. ABC, Fox, Paramount. Everything by the network, and outside. that's where the money is. These networks, mm. which is exactly why I leaned plan. towards Amazon last week. It's all about the money, it's so, all about the money. I, I will say two things one, um, yes, it is all about the money, obviously, but network deals are just as crucial as getting a streaming deal because if WWE were to leave. <clears throat> TV right now and just go straight network peacock or whatever it would harm them so much oh yeah they'd lose shit because that money money, that money is so crucial to have they still need it yeah oh of course and number two this year going off of what you said of this new signing with vince of who they're gonna go with whether they stay with usa and fox or whatnot this this deal is not getting signed until either a a deal is signed for a sale or B it's not being signed for a sale as in like the company's going to get sold off Mm -hmm. because they can't sell off the company to somebody. And that somebody doesn't want to deal with USA or Fox or whatever. It's going to come down to whoever the buyer wants to do the sale for. We're going to probably hear that sale first or non-sale if they decide not to, whoever they do that with. I think it's going to happen here about I just I don't I don't because they're not gonna I, publicly they're not gonna acknowledge it. It might get leaked or whatever, but they're not gonna yeah. publicly come out. There's way too much writing on WrestleMania this year. Mania. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's I way too much. Wait till after Mania. Even yeah. if it's the, even if it's the Raw after, there's way well, too much right now. There are rumors writing in- on this Mania. This has to be the absolute biggest best WrestleMania of the last twenty years. A hundred percent. It really does. Way too yeah. much going on right now. Knowing how Vince McMahon is, and this is something that I really can see him doing. One of the rumors was that The Rock was going to put for, and it was they talked about it, you know, maybe a year or so back, mm-hmm. that The Rock was going to look at possible investors to buy WWE. Now, here's what I can see happening: Rock returns at Rumble, which you know is pretty much probably going to happen. Yeah. Would it really be that far outside the realm of possibility with Vince to turn it into a fucking storyline? Vince versus Roman, or for, I'm sorry, Rock versus Roman. If Vin, if The Rock wins, he gets the WWE. He's played that storyline oh, before, is, so I can't put it that far past it. Really it. The problem, yeah. the problem is though, Vince to make this a storyline. The problem is though, is then you're gonna have to have that potential buyer be the face next to Rock. That guy's gonna have to be ringside, like the Umaga deal. You know what I mean? It's exactly. going to have to be something like that. And Would we honestly, really be surprised? I don't see Jeff Bezos being on the WWE television screen. I don't see the Saudi Prince being on the WWE television screen. No. Uh, maybe Tony Mickey Mouse. Khan, on the other hand. Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Tony I could definitely Mickey see Mickey Mouse. 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> I could definitely see that. So I bring up Mickey Mouse for an exact reason. Um, with all of the speculation, and we had pretty much, I guess, for the lack of a better part, for the, the majority of us had come to, had come to a synopsis that <laughs> Disney would be the best bet as far as for the E to go somewhere. I personally am still going to lean towards Amazon just because I feel like they would have a lot more range in Amazon. But with that, I want to yeah. lean into that to the Disney now. So now let's say Saudi's off the deal. We're not, I mean, we obviously, we know the reality right now, but we're going to play kayfabe as they do it in WWE. And I want to look at it as we're getting bought out by Mickey Mouse. What is your concerns with being bought out by Disney? Is there any concerns by being bought out by Disney? Do you think they'll think, try to get yeah. a TV streaming deal on top of it? 
the the big the biggest concern in uh me and Dan were actually kind of talking about this before we went on is like the merchandising the um mm, okay. you know the selling of the product they got that down that's, oh like a mug that's not a problem it's the wrestling aspect mm-hmm. are they going to get some yahoo from the disney front office to come and try to book matches or oh, are they going to try to maybe keep oh. triple h oh no so to run the creative process it the... honestly can't be any worse than how it is right now uh, brother man yeah. have you seen the well, disney no, channel lately right. have you seen the disney channel lately not. Okay. Okay. So the whole Cowboys spectrum of how this is going to go, let's just say it gets sold to Disney. There's not going to be some dumbass from the office that's going to go. Oh, I can book this all day. Are you I sure? I mean. Yeah. Did no, we? Well, well, I, I, don't, I don't mean. I can assure you this. So here's who, what's going to happen. It's going to literally go like nothing ever changed. Triple H is still yeah. going to be the creative. Triple H is still going to run all that yeah. shit. The difference Might is even be Vince. Vince is yeah oh, exactly hey. whoever it is. The difference Fill is they're gonna. Ju- it's just like UFC. Dana White never left. He's still a part yeah. of it in some form. What the fuck? I'm not saying he's everything. He's yeah. He's still he's a public why? Because he got bought out time. by Disney. He yeah. got bought out by ESPN. That's owned by Disney. So ESPN owns no, but it I'm completely. Not, yeah, but I'm not saying I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is he's still of some kind. So it's gonna in turn do the same and, thing. And to be and. and, and, and to interrupt you to Go be ahead. complete and total asshole, Go it's ahead. Joe no, Silva that books all the UFC fights, not not Dana White. I'm not saying Dana White booked it. I'm saying Dana White is still a part of it. Gotcha. Dana White didn't just yeah. sell UFC and go, oh, I'm going to go fucking vacation now. He's yeah. still a Yeah, part he of had it. to be a front man, so I get you. Yeah, the WWE, there's going to be Triple H. There's going to be Stephanie. Nick Khan will probably still be a part of it. Vince, will, you know, of some kind of capacity. No, stop another. saying that name Maybe. out loud. Stop it. I'm just saying. It's going to be the exact same thing. The difference of where it's going to come into play is going to go, okay, we want you guys to say this, do this, kind of say this, and work that in. You know what I mean? It's just similar. It's Yeah, it's similar to a network when they go, uh, Shark Week's coming up. We need to do some kind of theme for Shark Week. Right. It's going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be the exact same thing where it's going to go, oh, okay, we got this coming up for Disney. We need to do this. Or this is coming up. We need to do this. It's going to be very, very similar to that. Is it going to be, I I will promise you this much, even if you're already not seeing it now, you will never in your fucking life for the remainder of WWE see an ounce of blood on that television yeah, screen. Yeah, that, that is a the one thing nose, I will a thousand percent agree tooth, with. whatever, they will cut that shit. They will never see an ounce of blood. Um, it's just, it's it's not going to be so PG where you're sitting there like, they can't fight, you know what I mean? They're just kind of grappling, they're not punching. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be exactly what it is. It's just going to be small tweaks that are not going to be super yeah. detrimentally. You, you, know, you, 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 you know Cody's, Cody's sad to hear that. Cody can't gig. I'm, I'm going back to Cody came, Cody came back and he's like, I'm going to bring blood to WWE. And it's like, uh, Disney's not going to like oh, that, Cody. Plates? I don't Let's give a fuck who you are. Nah, you- the casual viewer will not notice a difference. Yeah, no. No. The, the small tweaks will be, uh, in my opinion, Disney gets to choose who WWE advertises with. who Basically, who WWE does a lot of their business deals with. I can see with. that. Oh. D- Disney will get the overall say yes or no you can do business mm-hmm. with these people these people these people vince triple h stephanie nick Khan, whatever they're gonna run it exactly how they've been running it yeah it's just a just a different clothing over the top of it business as usual and that <laughs> might be the best bet for ww at this point harold gets it i i, I mean it's when you're asking mike the question is there any concerns no, there's nothing to be concerned about. A lot of people are freaking out. I understand. Trust me when I tell you this. Your Amazons, your Netflix, whatever, they're going to keep WWE going. The wheel's going to go. It's going to keep going in circle. But here's the difference. Disney's going to go, oh, the wheel's going. Here's 15 other wheels. Now you're going way faster, way bigger, way longer. It's so much bigger than any of us can even imagine. If I may, you and may. I actually kind of thought about this the other day after uh, we had, you know, wrapped. If you think about it, Disney it ultimately could actually end up being a really good thing. Hear me out. I can't wait for this one. Look at all the look at 
the amount of money that Disney has. How much has WWE trimmed down to, to save money? You know, in the old days, we had specially designed sets that were so ornate. Remember, like, the old Backlash sets? I miss All the them. custom WrestleMania sets. Every show had a unique set that you're like, okay, I'm watching that I know what I'm watching. And the premium live events, you knew, like, okay, this is Backlash. This is whatever. Right. Disney is going to have more money to shake loose and say, okay, well, let's increase the production value for this. Disney's this, this got a hell of a pyro budget, too. Yeah, they do. With, <laughs> with, what, with what you're going with that, I think the reason why the last couple of years we haven't been getting it specifically, I mean, at least the last three, and we've been seeing a lot of these trimmings, is they're getting ready to sell. And so when they do actually do that sale, yes, Disney might actually go, we're going to bring back you know, this stuff and do these different type of stages where they have all that money that we're saving because we're trying to make the sale and try to make our numbers look really, really good. They might go, okay, we're going to increase the production value, which is the stages, the pyro, all that shit, which in turn is going to make everybody very, very happy. I, I loved it in 2019, and I think part of 2020 when AEW did it. But WWE really needs to bring it back, and just and more than just the four, because the four is great, but they need well, to the do five, it for more no, no. That. Maybe like maybe like eight. You know what I mean? Not no, no. all twelve, <coughs> but maybe like eight out of twelve. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, okay, so I want to I wanna roll with this a little bit because you guys keep saying some stuff that just literally is just not going to process in my head for a while, but I do want to spin with it in a positive manner. So number one, you absolutely brought up the fact that they kept that, well, I wanted to point out that they weren't cutting people for lack of money reasons. They were doing it to look good to investors. That is a hundred, one thousand percent fact. It was all about yep. trying to look like, hey, we can not only make money, but save some money, come buy us. Uh -huh. That's exactly what they were trying That's to do. Well, and right. And number two, I and I'm, again, this is I'm going to be stuck on this one. This is one I'm not going to be able to go away from for a little bit. There is going to be a noticeable change to how it's filmed, how it's produced, and who watches it. And now, hold on, this is where it gets yeah. positive. Don't get negative on me. This is where it gets positive. You're right. No, they you're are right. going. They are going to add more casual fans. Why? Because of the look, because of the production, because of the name value, the way it's going over. Yes, they have mm -hmm. the budget for the Marvel, like fucking DC's background, for the Star Wars mm -hmm. right here. They mm -hmm. are Yes, they're going to tweak it. We said it in our own gimmicks. It could be for the better. It could have been for the worse. It could have been whatever. But the fact of the matter is, is they tweaked it and money still came in. Money still mm -hmm. came in. As yeah. much as I want to say, go with Amazon, because with Amazon, you have the freedom. You have to be able to do your blood, and you have the this, and you have the that. I'm speaking for me. I'm speaking for the hardcore who likes professional right. wrestling, yeah. not people who but are watching the WWE for the aspect of whatever the WWE is, whether it be that was what they ran with, whether it be that that's their style, whatever mm -hmm. their reasons be, that is their reasons. But with me, that's why I'm indifferent. Because I am an absolute hardcore. I want my wrestling of every promotion to be the almost the exact same with a few minor tweaks here and there. But I've sat on it for a week. I've mustered it for a week. I've continued to listen to you guys and continue to listen to everybody else. Yeah. And you think about it and you, and you fucking, when you guys are talking about these pay-per-views and bringing them back, giving me different looks again, making me feel excited for pay-per-views. And yeah, call them a pay-per-view, not a network special, not a premium live event. Make them a fucking pay-per-view pay because guess what, player? I'm paying to view it. It's pay-per-view. It's pay-per-view. Okay. So I we hate, need to bring I, that shit back. That name. Huh? I hated I hated the P what is it, PLE or P -L -E. PLE? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was listening to DC. I was like, man, stop calling it that. It's Jesus. the fucking worst. It's the worst ever. <laughs> I hate it. Oh. Uh, so no, I mean no, I, I, I like I'm, it a I'm lot. Glad you're swinging around. No, no, I like it a lot. Um I do I do think that there will be there will be a the roster that could. A a roster trim. I will there will be a roster trim of some oh, sort. God. Um hit row. I, it's it's going to be the ones that just aren't appealing. I'm sorry. It's just it's you can't go with the oh they don't look good. Oh they don't. It's who is really truly eye catching. If you're really truly eye catching, even if in the mi most minute way, you're going to hang out. But if you know you're if you're shat on, you're fucking gone. You, yeah, I was going to say you know what's going to be really good is it's now going to be with Disney. They're going to they are going to drop people. Are they going to go yes, to absolutely. WWE and go hey we need to drop these guys we need to drop these guys cut this or whatever. I think it's going to come down to 
what what Disney is going to say is the best where and the and the best isn't going to be like the best in the ring or whatever. It's going to be the best of merchandise sales. Merchandise. Which I hate I get yeah, it it, with WWE. Is in all reality, line. it's the best presentation. Similar. Yeah, and it's only going to be the top people. Yeah. Only the and I don't mean top people is like the Roman Reigns. I mean the people that are like people want to watch. The signs are in the crowds when there mm-hmm. are the signs. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, they'll bring that back about the most the merchandise moving, sales. Tweet, exactly. Hashtags. All exactly all that stuff. That's who they're going to go. Okay, you're going to go on TV, and the rest of you might do a dark match, might go back to NXT, whatnot, but it's going to be those main people because Disney's going to go, we own this, we want to push what's working and only what's working and what's going to make us money and keep this money rolling because why would they continue to put out a Disney show Mm. week after week or month after month if that Disney show wasn't getting viewers? They're, of course, going to drop it and go... Uh, fucking Frozen is doing better. We're gonna keep pushing Frozen and do Frozen three or four or five. I mean, you're not wrong. Than whatever this new TV, yeah, whatever this new Disney movie is that we don't know is gonna work. We tried to make it work and we didn't work, so we're not gonna make a number two. We're gonna make a number five of Frozen or whatever. Avatar it's two. Just, yeah. What'd you say, Avatar? Yeah, Ooh. Avatar two. <laughs> fuck, fuck Avatar, Jesus. There's that motherfucker's got three, four, and five in the process. By the way, yeah. just so. Uh, you know. Dead ass so till 2028. I know that's a whole nother show. Four done. Five that's is about like halfway done. Okay. That's okay. So uh, we were spinning the, the the positive train, and I have to look at the other side of the coin because that is life. It's fucking reality. With every positive, there are negatives. You cannot look me in the face and tell me there are not negatives to signing with WWE or the, to signing with Disney. Excuse me. And. I'm I mean, now granted again, maybe maybe I'm call me the old head in this one, even though I'm really not, but call me the old head in the one that's being a little bit more um uh conservative, if you will. Mm-hmm. Ladies are a sex appeal in the WWE. Are you gonna have that on Disney? I am. Of yes. course. Yeah. You still will. Obviously, we're not getting any of the sex appeal like we did back in the two thousands. We get well, it yeah. wildly. We had, well, we've far gotten away from that. that. But yeah, but I don't think it's going to go away. They're not going to be like Saudi where they're dressed head to toe in gear. You know what I mean? They're still going to do what they're going to do now because I'm going to say little girls, but little girls, I was going to say kids, but little girls do use them as role models. For still. sure. The Sasha's the Bailey's as of now. And Disney can see that as of now. So exactly. why would you change something that you know is working? There's no exactly. reason to change it. Disney knows that the WWE is making money. If Disney is interested in purchasing WWE, they've been monitoring WWE's finances for a while. Mm. WWE is making money. Record-breaking profits profits each year Year while maintaining a PG audience, Mm -hmm. PG television show, and rarely do they go past that, get fined, or Mm -hmm. anything like that. I don't think they actually have. Disney's going to see that and say, that's easy money. Mm-hmm. They can manage themselves. They want to manage themselves. And I don't have to worry about them going past PG. Yep. That's it. I, I honestly. I can assure you the Mandy Rose thing would have gotten nipped immediately. The second. See, that's oh, what yeah. I'm talking about. Fucking, it's something like that. Oh, clicked on that. Nope. You're gone. It's okay. not even a, I don't give a fuck who you are. Disney's going to go. So, nope, so let, okay, let's spin it's, it on the other side. Know, so hold on. So hold on. Ahead. Let me, let me answer. I feel like I'm talking a lot here, but I, the Disney the thing, idea, man, I'm, I'm always, I'm very interested in the Disney deal. So with what you're saying, you're saying the negatives. There's got to be a negative. You're there has to, concerned. well, let me, let me hold me on, this. let me stop, let me stop, let me, let me clarify what I mean okay. by negative. As compared okay. to what's going on right now, what people have been able to mm-hmm. get away with, the DUIs, the bullshit like that, is that going to be allowed to be around when fucking Disney, if and when oh. Disney takes over? Hold on. That's what I mean. Hold is it a one strike anyway. rule? Hold on. It's, well, no, not obviously, you know, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Now I'm you're, now there. you're walking yeah. on eggshells, aka We're Jimmy. Point today. Me and Harold on point today. That's my boy. Um, so, so with what you're saying, is there any negatives? And I don't mean negatives as in like what you what you're thinking. I'm saying you're just talking about the other side of yes, the fence. Yes, that's it. Just the other deal. side of the fence. Okay. But isn't there another side of the fence of them not selling in general? You Absolutely. Know what I mean, they could not sell, and the company could just get worse, or it could just stay stagnant or whatnot. But the the positive is. It's going to grow to heights unimaginable. And I don't no. mean – I think you got to better understand is what you're going for in wrestling and what WWE is going for, 
You're going two opposite ways. My no, man. and I hey, no, trust me. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. I'm I'm, it's not a me thing. You. It's not a me no, no, thing. No, no. I'm looking. I'm but, looking more at the look at how they are. Like to be able to, to have the freedom that you have on Twitter without getting fucking yelled at. Being able to fucking go after people kayfabe style, whatever. Can you do that under the Disney banner? No. If if you get caught it's, with a DUI, are you gonna are you coming back after a 15 day stay home stint? Do you get to go to rehab and come back? Is it all this other nonsensory? When you turn into a Vince it, McMahon and you get caught fucking ladies and paying them off, is this still a thing? You, That's what I'm talking could. about. It could it could be like, hey, everyone's got a one chance. Don't fuck it up. I think, you know what I mean? If I may, Everybody could have that. Uh, All right. D- I got to hear Disney's claim. D- Let's look at some of Disney's history for, for a moment. And I still think the uh, the wellness policy is still going to be there. That's not going anywhere. You know, the, the three really strikes, that's, let them keep smoking that's weed. But, like, let's use the Usos, for example. You know, they've had that's, some issues. They're my number when one. Jeff Hardy was in the WWE, I think... With them, it would be like, you're going to rehab. It's not like a, hey, you know, we'd like you to go to rehab. It's you're going or you're done. I think let's use the Usos, for example. They've had their their struggles. I think if one of them got busted with a DUI, knowing, you know, what they know, I think Disney would go to Triple H or whoever they put in charge and they would say, we see that this person has had issues on this date, this date, this date. Cut them now. And I, oh, I, okay. Now look at what Disney's done in the past when they've had issues with mm. people on shows that have caused a problem. They cut them. See, that's look what at I'm Gina talking about. Toronto on oh, that's right. Without hesitation. And she was huge. They caused and they said, but, you know what? Cut her. But let me put this in the spins now. The Johnny Depp trial. Johnny Depp's all Disney, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean and everything like that. The, I understand that, but who looked like the, the fucking thing. idiet in that whole thing? No, 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 okay, no, no. That, I'm not I mean, saying that. I, trust pers- me, perspective John, is everything, that's, Playboy. That's, that, that's my man, okay? But there is always where there's smoke, there's fire. So Absolutely. I'm not saying Johnny's Absolutely. perfect because it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm not here to judge people. That's his relationship. Dark that's cocaine. not mine. But the whole thing still came out with all this terrible shit. Yeah. She, you know, she shit in his bed. She did this. She's a piece of shit. I could never get shit, over that. Whatever. With this off. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so, the fact that all this came out and he's like, "Oh, I'm drinking thirty thousand dollars worth of wine every day, or whatnot," or he's like, "It's God, more yeah, than that." The very second that the trial was over, what did Disney do? Hey, Johnny, we'd like to make another Pirates of the Caribbean with you. Yeah, yeah I'm good. We'd like to finish it off. Exactly. And he goes, whether that's his answer still or whatnot, but the fact that he went through and got drugged down the mud. This and that. And I, I get he has a loyal fan base and everyone's really behind oh, him, yeah. but they're still naysayers. And the fact that Disney goes right after this trial, hey, Johnny, we'd like to make you another movie with Pirates of the Caribbean. It tells me if you are important, then yes, they're going to work with you. Much like a Roman, a Jeff, uh, a Seth, somebody like that. They're going to try and work it out with you. Not saying that you're not going to have to go to rehab or, you know, have to get some kind of suspension or maybe you're off TV for six months until people can forget about the whole scenario. Because a little bit of time off TV really does help. Um, I just don't think it's going to be for the big stars one and done, like your one chance and then you're done for the other people. I mean, that's like WWE now. You you get one shot. You know what I mean? It's not like. Look Roman can fuck Orton. up a million times. <laughs> Randy Orton's Orton. a perfect example. Hey, look at Randy Orton. Many, you got Orton who literally shit in a girl's bag because she wouldn't give him the time of day. That's my man right there. He's a hero. Man, I, Not all heroes wear capes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they wear trunks, baby. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> we got to spin on to the, to the other one, to the more bigger one, to the one that's, to me... A lot more appealing because this is in my wheelhouse. And, yep, it's the one where a lot of people are down to start turning this off or turning it down and saying we suck and this and that. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it honest here. Shad Khan and Tony Khan have the money. The owners of AEW have an opportunity to buy WWE and create what some would call 
the master class of professional wrestling here in the United States. You have the I'm money up. to go out and get anybody from any promotion in international waves to watch me do whatever the fuck I want now with my pyro and the this and the that, and I can get a TV deal anywhere I want because I'm Shad and I own the Jags. Okay. The Vince so, are, uh are, are quaking in their boots right now. Okay, it's not a good day for them. And see, hold on, before, before gonna, Kyle, before you go on your ramble, because I can already tell you, and I want you to sit on it for a couple more minutes. I want you to sit on it because I want to talk. I want to talk to the two boys that just hung out in L.A. I want to know your take. We're taking AEW, the great dynamite show that y'all watch, and even a great rampage that y'all just seen, and now we're finally bringing in the E. We're giving the world the uh, possibility to go into WWE 2K and fantasy book your ass off. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you telling the Mar? Shut the fuck up. What are we doing? What are you doing? Rob, go ahead. <laughs> the wheels are well, turning. I mean, there, there, there's a lot we can do with this. I, I mean, just amongst this group, we we had some wishful thinking. Like, we thought, you know, Shad and Tony, I mean, it would be cool if they had it, but it's probably not going to happen. And no. lo and behold, we wake up and, like, they're throwing their name in the pot. They're literally you throwing know? it in the pot. Literally. And uh, you know, like you said, me and Harold, we just went to the, the you know this past Dynamite, great show, it's fantastic show. Rampage was great, which we're gonna watch in a couple minutes. That was a top um, tier Dynamite. Mm-hmm. I mean, e- even Dark wasn't bad. Dark was actually go. pretty good too. Just the possibility of this happening and what it can amount to is, I think, every wrestling fan's dream. I've also kind of had a flip side to this Mm -hmm. one guy owning all of wrestling again do we want that exactly (sighs) exactly and that's where i wanted to lean into harold now so it it, so now you've gotten his side of it the perspective of it all give me something i you know what i want to ask you this because this is going to be a good one you're the casual fan now what are you thinking? You're the casual WWE fan. AEW just bought your company. Do you give a shit anymore? Do you watch this sport anymore? I I mean, I honestly think if the cons were to buy it, WWE, I don't think there would be an in, uh, immediate integration at all. Oh, fuck I think no. they would still probably stay two products. That I think would that be would the, be the smarter yeah, thing to do. The and then just have those crossover pay-per-views. That exactly. would be the best way to go I about like that. that but to be honest with you i honestly am not interested in the cons purchasing wwe beautiful because that's not my product that i'm interested in and i'm happy go. that there's fans that have a product they can be interested exactly. in that isn't what i like a variety is what makes the spice of life mm-hmm. i don't want it to be vanilla we had the, a near monopoly in the united states oh, of yeah, we did. wrestling for the longest time and i'm glad that we're out of that shadow so i'd like to remain you know, out of that if i may you know realistically i remember seeing an interview with with vince a number of years back where he was he talked about you know wcw and how all that went down he even said you know he wished that they had kept it separate Mm -hmm. Ah, i got a i got a reason i'll tell you why on that part of the problem was and the reason that didn't happen was wcw didn't have a home they had nowhere to put it no they didn't like, so it's like, what do you do? It's like, basically, it's like, you know, when you take something out of the oven, let's say, you know, you're making a baked potato. You know, I'll say potato because, you know, I'm Irish. So, there you go. Yeah, baked potato. Like, some potatoes. Cheese and sour Soup. cream, please. And it's like, you're holding the potato. It's like, fuck, this thing is boiling. It's like burning my fucking hands. Mm-hmm. I got to do something with it. Toss it. Yep. All right, Kyle, oh. you're chomping at the bit, brother. Okay, three things. Three. One, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what DC said. Uh, the reason why the WCW thing didn't happen where WCW was going to continue while WWF slash E was going to happen. Um, the network would not allow Vince already, McMahon okay. to have a potential competing, even though he owned it, product go head to head against uh, him. He owned it. It was different when somebody else owned it. He cannot own it and run his own competition head to head. That was why. Once Vince found that out, well, he had yeah. to shut it down. There was no ifs, ands, or buts because the network would not continue his deal 
with him had he been doing that. And at he the time, I trip. think he was on USA. Don't quote me on that. Uh, no, they, they were on Spike. 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 Oh, Spike. I'm going to quote you. Yeah, Spike. quote him, baby. All right. Quote him. Whoever it was. Whoever it was. Um, so my thoughts on the potential cons buying from now the current top con, the CEO con. Um, I'll give you the honest fact, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my like dream, the dream one, what you guys are saying, mm-hmm. and then the honest fact. So the dream one, yes, I would love to see um, all these guys. I would love to yeah. see Seth and Mox go again. I would love to see uh, Jade and Charlotte go at it. I would love to see all these people. Actually, that's one I hadn't thought I of. Sorry, thank you for that. With with what you're saying though earlier, would somebody come in from Disney and and be creative? Somebody from AEW would come over and be creative in WWE. You know what I mean? That thought you had would probably be very realistic with Tony Khan. Though with Tony Khan, it'd probably be a lot better <coughs> than some fuck at Disney. Uh, oh yeah, realistically. Yeah. So the honest truth. Um, with the whole thing, the cons can't afford it. Yes, they have eleven billion dollars net worth. Uh, it's not liquid, unfortunately. No, it's not. Uh, Eric Bischoff even commented on that. It's not liquid. I mean, it's probably <laughs> three billion, four billion liquid. I don't know In what the actual account, money yeah. is. To be yes, well, hold on, exactly. to be, what to they be, can go into the uh, bank and go pull it out. Well, yeah, well, they like, uh, over here. really can't. But now really the deal. Cool. The deal that they're going to do, anybody who's going to do this, or unless they're just, you know, balling out like Netflix or uh, Amazon or Disney. Which they're not. They're probably going to go, here's $4 billion cash or deposit in your bank. We're going to pretty much do the other $2 billion on a note kind of deal. That's what's going to end right. up happening. For the most I wouldn't part. be surprised. But, but, again, but hold on. No, I got to jump into you go, here. The hey, only that's all my money I'm dumping in. I can't afford to put all that money in. Well, not only is it all their money, they basically would have to sell the Jaguars. Or, or Shad would have to sell the Jaguars. Or Shahid, excuse me, to get his name pronounced correctly. Let's he would have the to Jaguars sell the Jaguars worth. I want to say like six or seven bill. Yeah, that's. That sounds about right. And then, if you really wanted to be a douche and add some more bread onto your shit, you make Tony get rid of his uh, his soccer team in England. That'll probably get you another three. one, two, one, three. Three point four eight billion. Oh yeah. Lord! Wow. So you're not ma- you're literally so giving away that? your assets to buy this company and be full time wrestling right. promoters. So what that yeah, what, what that says though is that the company that you're buying is now worth the company more than the company that you own right now. So and, in in hindsight, it's a positive. The business uh, okay. is it though? Go ahead, DC. It is. Go ahead. DC. Harold, go first. I was I was just gonna say, I honestly think if that if the cons had the offer on the table, Vince McMahon has a clause where he gets to decide if he's cool with the sale when it goes through. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. No way yeah. in hell Vince is approving. Oh, no. oh, yeah, that not competition. No. Not unless he's coming out with like $10 billion to him. No. Yeah. No. We know Vince is a spiteful bastard. Mm-hmm. For sure. Now, another side to this, if I may, and Kyle, this is going to kind of piggyback on what you said. Do the cons have cash on hand to purchase a WWE outright? No. There are very few companies out there that do. Isn't the other side to this is... And it, I had mentioned this with, you know, The Rock and, you know, his people. Who's to say that he, that uh, the cons don't go to some, you know, other company and just say, hey, let's work together and purchase this thing. It, could it happen? Yeah. Money I'm a little more skeptical, it. though. Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. Honestly, if I'm a betting man, if, if I'm. If you were to tell me that, hey, you got to take all your money and bet on this one company as to who's going to you know, walk away with it, again, it, it really is for sale. Mm-hmm. If, I am, if you tell me, say, hey, DC, pick one person. I got to put all my chips on the Disney side. Actually, no, Robert Davis, he's going to buy WWE. That's right. Got Rob's got it all got paid. Oh. There, there's this. only there's only two ways that WWE is going about the sale right now. It's either 
Vince just wants money, which I understand he always wants money, but he either just wants money or he's actually looking into the longevity of this company. If he just wants he money, is. Saudi Saudi Prince is up. Saudi Prince is going to outbid everybody because oh yeah, I, I actually found something out about the Saudi investment fund. Um, I was watching a uh, – it's not some random guy. It was actually a, a liable source. Um reliable source uh, on a guy from TikTok. There's only one positive, one, but it's completely counteracted by every other negative on the planet to Saudi investment fund buying the WWE. The Saudi investment fund literally has an, an infinite amount of money. There's, It just doesn't stop. It's literally unlimited. As much as you can think it's unlimited. They'll just dump and dump and dump more money into it. So the Saudi investment fund, the what their actual away. big target is, is to spread the news of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So not every company that they purchase has to be profitable. So with that, they just dump money back into the company. <laughs> wow. Because they're trying to spread the word of how great the kingdom of Saudi Arabia is. Hey, look, we own the WWE. Come see the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Again, only positive is it's going to be fucking unlimited. Aside from that, fuck Saudi Arabia. Like, yeah. fuck them to yeah. death. Like, I don't, I'm Again. sorry to the people that live in Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry that Saudi people, but like, you, you, there's no fucking reason your, your country needs to own the WWE. Fuck them. Um, I mean, the next biggest thing as far as unlimited bread would be Disney. So if we, if you want to go with yeah, exactly. the, the, the money part of it without the backlash, you stick to Disney. So, but, but I think the big thing about that is Disney will have a cutoff point and go, oh shit, it's not mm -hmm. working or it's too much. Saudi will just go, uh, just dump it. Just keep going. Just, just you know dump what I mean? it. Just Disney is, going. is Disney's going to have that like, oh, we're going to put in another 5 billion or whatever into the company. And then they're going to go, okay, that's it. Whereas Saudi's going to go, eh, 10 billion. Fuck it. You know what I mean? But that's true. Uh, again, yes, you're right. Disney does still have the unlimited money aspect as well. And they're going to actually, you know be beneficial same with same with your amazon amazon's gonna be the same way it's gonna be the unlimited money aspect because of cool how point. much money they're worth so cool um, point. yeah i mean that's that's and, the that's the fun part of it all right there go ahead dc netflix here's why i say it's not gonna be netflix Definitely not. netflix shows they cancel shit after like two fucking seasons yep even if it's a good the only thing they don't cancel Stranger Things, but you know that's that's ending next season. True. Yeah. Realistically, with Saudi, which again, fuck the Saudis. The problem is, most people in this country and the rest of the world know what Saudi, the Saudi royal family and the Saudi government is about. They know their record with the LGBT community. They know their record with women. Mm -hmm. So, are you really going to be able to get the investors knowing all this? So, I, I do want to publicly put out, since this is going on the internet, me, me, DC, and the rest of us don't mean fuck Saudi Arabia people. No, we mean it's the, the government. Fuck Saudi Arabia. I appreciate Kyle. With the, with the, nah, don't that's include all me. That we you. Mean. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, what do you mean, not, you people? What do you mean, you, you people? people? Well, we're we're not saying hateful shit towards Saudi Arabian oh people. We're just the saying drinking. not the drinking. Don't don't to buy be. the WWE. That's it. Trust me, we I just, just want to publicly put that out there it, because we don't like their views on how they treat. It, we don't like their views people. on the times. Is what it is. Don't oh, yeah. include yes. me in none of it, Kyle. All right, Harold's getting included. Okay. In. No, 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 we're getting no, we're, we got to get the fuck out of here before we get a goddamn what copyright ban. <laughs> or for only goddamn knows, we'll probably what get fucking mean, bombed, heaven for fucking mean. bed. <laughs> Jesus, crime of you guys are killing me. I mean, this was an excellent part. Uh, <laughs> number three is coming, but there is for sure. I, there is definitely going to be a part three coming because that's going to be the final part of it, the sale actual final part of it. Part of it. Be so the actual purchase. Who the reality. Who did it? You don't know. See, that's the thing. There was one thing I was going to say. We probably could all agree on. It's it's not going to happen until after Mania. hundred percent. Maybe. Maybe, but Maybe. if it does, if it happens before WrestleMania, not a single person is going to give a fuck. Because think about it, we're talking what three months from now, February, March, beginning of April, two and a half. I mean, Who the fuck's here's going to talk about that for the next two months. Oh, Roman versus The Rock? No. What's going to happen if Disney purchases this? How's Disney going to go this? How's See, Netflix going to? I'm glad that you brought this? that up. 
Oh, because I want to end on this really quickly. Now, here's my whole thing. Say, say Disney buys it next month. They buy it at the beginning of February. It doesn't make an impact, right? But now, guess how much bigger WrestleMania will be at fucking SoFi Stadium? If they haven't already planned an extravaganza on top of extravaganzas, parking is going to be $150 to park on the street over by the chicken shack across the street from SoFi. So, I will, I, I, again, with that too, I will say Disney wouldn't allow it to go out because there's not enough prep time for Disney. Disney does not have enough prep time for the next 60 days it, mm-hmm. for this sale to be going like this because Disney's going to get fucking obliv- obliterated with new Disney people, sales, questions, media press, all this. They don't have True. enough time to have that. And then the biggest show of the entire year, the biggest show of the last 20 years, is also in that 60 days. We're, we're going to we're, we're have to park at the Florin and walk to SoSign. Fucking ain't right. We're parking at Rob's house. You might really as well have make to it a park hike, in Buffalo, it. New York. I was going to say park in fucking San Diego and walk. There you go, baby. Okay. We'll be there My next afternoon. week. Jesus. I got, I got room from a TSK fan. Let's go. We're crashing on the there. couch, baby. Is that is that Inglewood Road really that bad? It is well, a one lane road on both sides, player, all the way around. Both sides. All the way around. And that yeah. is not a joke. Hey, we got some good chicken wings up here. Hey, let's get the chicken wings. Anyway, we're going to let this go. We're going to get on out of here. Part three is coming. But before part three comes, hopefully, Retro Rewind is coming back in full fucking form with the now brand new Retro crew. You're looking at them. They're handsome. And I'm going to re- re-school some of them and definitely school the bullshit out of Kyle because he was not old enough, young enough, whatever you want to call it, to watch around WCW, the Here prime of WCW. I was watching. I was- Watching while I was laying on my dad's chest at three months old. Okay, my dad's been a fan since the AWA days. I've been watching. Actually, you know what's funny? WCW is actually my favorite. You're like one of those guys that says you got to fucking win an MMA fight by being in somebody's corner. Okay, calm down. Hey, calm down. A win's a win, baby. Win's a win, dude. Enjoy it. I was, I was two. I was two. All right, fine. Two years old. I was two. Okay, so, fine. I'll I'm give 28 you 28 for the people that don't. Young, oh, enjoy it while you can before you end what? up as, as an old fucker like Robert and myself. Hey, hey, young and pretty. I'm loving it. Okay, young Instead and pretty. Instead of young and reckless, it's young and prettier. Young here. and prettier. Okay, chill out. Let's get us out of here. We're doing <laughs> we're doing the, the lovely uh, the plugs. Young and pretty. Let me hear about your donuts. Pretty donuts. <laughs> Pretty young donuts. Sweet treat mini. Sweet treat minis on Instagram, Facebook, Super Kicks, and Flips Pod coming soon. I'm fucking waiting over here. Palms are sweating the whole nine yards. Hey, now I got my setup around here. I'm oh, go keep, come on now. Catch up with your boy hey. one time. Rob. I know, I know. I gotta <laughs> Talk to me, Rob. What's oh, the link man. Link tree forward slash. Hey, I'm Rob. Uh, you got all my music, all my socials. Come hang out. Come talk to me. Or don't. Or don't. But you or probably don't. should, though. Harold, brother man, what was it? Ron's Coffee? I'm not a coffee dude, but hey, I'm going to have to check it out. The LB? Rad coffee, but okay, two thank sweet you. click adventures. Hey, yo, it's the two sweet click. You, you know, done. out here doing food reviews all around LA. I'm still waiting Events, on Paul's place. Attractions. I'm your hey, host. Hey, me and my wife. Hey, she's more beautiful looking than even me and Kyle put together. Not in lying there, boy. Two sweet click adventures on the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Hit us up. Got to do it. Got to go check out the I'm brand not new argue one. Argue that one. Heard yeah. that. That's DC, probably true. DC, the countdown continues to promo mania, but until then, you have officially been announced to go against my guy in the MDO Cipher for the lovely, beautiful television championship. My my television title. That's right, right, get him, DC. I love it. Yeah. I'm loving the confidence. The fact what of the matter is, is whether people want to believe it or not, what? DC is what we call a trivia madman over at Max. And one of these days, we're going to have the TSK over there. Whether in promo or trivia form, we don't know, but it's going to go down. And until then, the only way you can check that out is by being subscribed to Max Wrestling, checking out the TSK. Eventually, we're going to be getting on some of these other platforms on TikTok, Twitter, all that fun stuff. But until then, Max Wrestling is the home to be at. So Google make sure that's still even a thing. Google Plus for sure, thing, all that stuff. So uh, make sure, again, you guys are subscribed. We will be back either Monday or Tuesday, not for sure, for some Retro Rewind. November the 4th, 1996. Watch it on your Peacock station as we review it. Yes, it is the Brian Pillman with the Glock episode. You don't want to miss the TSK's review on that. We will catch y'all around the bend. We appreciate y'all hanging out. Too sweet, the boys, for them out there. We love y'all. Peace.